Do you like realizing that you can be happy about the idea even before it manifests? That's the trick, isn't it? If your unfulfilled desires are still sweetly calling you, then you're fast on their trail. But if your not yet manifested desires are disappointing you, or if you're feeling out of control or unfulfilled or unworthy or just dissatisfied because you want something that has not happened. If you're jealous because somebody else has it and you don't, or if you're mad at yourself because you've wanted it for so long and you haven't figured out how to pull it off in your irritation at your unfulfilled desires, you slow them down. Now you don't prevent them because when you croak, you'll have all of them. <laughs> but you won't have them in the manifested form when you croak. You'll have them in the vibrational thought form. The vibrational thought form has the potential of giving you every bit as much satisfaction as the fully manifested form. And when you get that and you care so much about how you feel that you contour your thoughts to make yourself feel good, then they have to come, but the best part is you felt good all the time they weren't there on the way to becoming. We say to our physical friends, just hold the vision of what you want so much that it thrills you. Even conjure a vision that gives you a feeling of excitement so that you are milking the benefit from it long before the manifestation comes. And our friends will say, and so, it hasn't come yet, right? And we say, no, it hasn't come yet, but you feel glorious. And they say, yeah, 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 but, but when's it going to come? <laughs> and we say, soon when you feel really good. And they say, yeah, 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 but, but so all I get in the meantime is feeling good. <laughs> and we say, yes, you get to feel good in the interim. And they say, well, I don't see the point in that. <laughs> I don't see the point in being happy about something before it gets there. And we say, then you're holding things in abeyance, aren't you? You're holding things unnecessarily apart because it is alignment to desire that brings the manifestation of it. 